Hey there! It was time for me to update the dividers in my planner. I've had these for I don't even know how long. I did do a video when I made them originally, which you can find linked up in the corner there. Um, it's been, like I said, it's been a long time and I needed an update. Uh, the inspiration for this new set is actually from my daughter's first birthday party, which is coming up at the beginning of next month. Um, my mother-in-law is throwing her a party and she's using a Winnie the Pooh theme, which is super cute. And so I pulled out the, uh, the like classic book with the Ernest Shepard illustrations and I'm just blatantly plagiarizing some of the artwork because it's adorable and I feel like it's a style that I can copy okay. With the Pigma Microns here I'm using the 03 and the 01 um, just back and forth and then watercolors over top. Thank you. 
If you follow me over on Instagram, where my name is Gunchy underscore, uh, you will probably have seen that I did a live laminator party on Wednesday night. Um, so for those of you that caught that, you'll have seen me making these. Um, notice they're not in my planner right now. Let's get to that. First of all, these are the dividers that I had in originally. Um, I made this cute little flyleaf with the pictures of my daughter, and then these were just plain teal cardstock. And more pictures on the back, but that's just for my sprocket printer. Um, so that's fine. You'll notice the um, plastic around the edges is pretty thick. I wanted to make sure that it was like in there pretty securely. So I made the paper inside about a quarter inch um, smaller overall. So there's an eighth inch on either side for the plastic. Fine. It's a little clunky, but it's fine. Here I, I measured the same way. And then I didn't, I think I ended up cutting it a little bit tighter than I wanted to. And then also I just eyeballed the trimming. And so I don't know if you can tell, but it's much slimmer, much closer. And it ended up just being too, too small. Unfortunately, <laughs> this uh, fly leaf was smaller than the pages behind it, offering very little protection whatsoever which is a shame. Um, then the dividers, if you want to compare the size here, see, basically they were, f this, the tab itself was flush with the pages underneath. And in my live laminator party, I played it off as not a big deal. I didn't think it would be. I just kind of, eh, fine, and I went with it. Um, but then it started to really bug me even more and I realized that I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't deal with having tabs that didn't stick out. Like, what's the point? And so I felt absolutely devastated that like I had spent all this time working on this artwork and now it's it's too small and I can't use it and I can't like just delaminate it. I don't know, I think there's a way, but I feel like I would damage the artwork anyway. So what I did, I flop these on the scanner bed and I made copies and I feel like over YouTube you may not even be able to tell but here is what I have come up with I I literally just copied it straight um, printed it out in color so it looks it looks the same right I don't know where's this yeah, the colors are a little off. Obviously, this is white paper. Um, it's similar enough. And it still looks good. Um, so I cut it just that tiniest bit wider because it was cut a little bit short um, in order to cover up the bit where you could see like the old hold punches in the copy. I just covered it up with some washi tape. This gingham washi tape is from Daiso, just on both sides like that. That was a little bit of decoration. So here we go. Flyleaf. Uh, divider number one with Eeyore. This is for my monthlies. Divider number two is Pooh and Piglet. Is for my weeklies. And then divider number three with Christopher Robin is for my dailies. And there we go. We have dividers again in my planner and they're new and they're different and they're fun. So I'll probably stick some more pictures on the back of them like I did with these. Um, the HP Sprocket makes it super easy because it's photo paper that's like a sticky back so you just make stickers and shove them in there and as I explained in my live laminator party um, the baby and I went to Disneyland uh, last week and we got to meet Tigger and Pooh so I wanted to put pictures of her with them on the back here because that also matches the theme so knowing that these are not the perfect ideal of what I imagined them in my mind I might try this again next time and the lesson I will take into next time is that you can trim them a lot tighter than I thought you could and I feel like this is pretty steady, sturdy. Um, so I think next time I will just make the paper as big as the pages underneath and if there's just a little tiny bit of plastic around the edges that's just protection. Um, so. There we go, we've got these tabs, and I don't know, I don't wanna throw them away because I spent so much time working on them, but I can't use them in my planner. So that's where we are, you live and you learn. And in any case, the art looks pretty good still. So thanks for joining me. 
Uh, don't forget, go check out my Instagram so you don't miss. I'm going to be doing more of those live videos and stuff. And then I just post stuff about my everyday planner stuff, 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 um, in stories and in posts. A lot of my weeklies, if you want to see what my weeklies turn out like after I've planned in them, um, Instagram is a good place to see that. Ganchi underscore. I will see you over there, okay? Bye. Thank you.